All right, we're just going to finish up a little bit here uh, about passing legislation. We talked about log rolling. That's one way to get legislation passed. We talked about pork, bell, pork barrel legislation. It's another way to get things passed, to get people to support a piece of legislation. But what happens when the legislation doesn't pass? What happens when like Congress can't get anything done? Well, we call that gridlock. So 2.32, gridlock. Flip over, backside, let's do it. Um, it's when nothing gets passed in Congress due to divided government. When nothing gets passed in Congress due to divided government. By the way, it's a pretty common um, aspect of government. Divided government just means that the same party doesn't control the presidency, the House, and the Senate. That's called unified government, where like we have a one party control through the executive branch, the presidency, the House, and the Senate. And actually doesn't happen that often in, in modern times. So um, let's define divided government. Um, divided government, very important concept here that you need to know. Divided government means one party controls the presidency, another one controls Congress, or one of the houses of Congress. Like you might, right now, um, we might have a Republican president, a Republican Senate, and a Democrat House. Under President Obama, it started as uh, Democrats' unified control, presidency, House, and Senate. Then it went uh, presidency, Democrat, uh, Senate, Democrat, but the House was Republican. So there was divided government for six out of eight years um, in the Demo uh, during the Obama administration. Matter of fact, let's look at a chart here. It's really important, your ability to analyze a chart. So let's look at that. If you need to pause, go ahead. All right, so check this out, and let's just find the number of times where a divided government happened. So if you look down under – down at the bottom of the chart, look at Ford and Nixon. Of course, red would be Republicans, D, Ford, Democrat, and they're in blue. Uh, there was unified government during Carter, so presidency was Democrat in the House and Senate. Reagan, it's divided government the entire time. The, um, the Republicans had the Senate for six of those years, but then the House was always Democrat. Bush 41, um, first Bush, uh, all Democrat in the Congress, so divided government. Clinton had two, uh, two years where it was all Democrat, then it was Republicans in Congress and with, with a Democrat uh, president, so that didn't work. And then Bush 43 had Republican control for two of the years and uh or four of the years i should say in 03 through 07 and then um 07 to 09 he had democrats controlling congress look at obama i already mentioned that divided government trump had two years of republican control of the senate and the house so like not many two years under trump four years under bush two years under uh obama two years under clinton nothing under reagan and bush a couple years or oh, four years under carter and then nothing under ford and nixon so it just doesn't happen very often and so what happens nothing gets passed they can't agree the system is created to force compromise that's the way the system is matter of fact look at these headlines the brooking institute um says going nowhere a gridlocked congress gridlock is not a modern invention although the term is said to have entered the american lexicon um, after the 1980s, Alexander Hamilton was complaining more than two centuries before um, when he said the, dead, the dead, deadlock was rooted in the design of the Continental Congress. It actually says that gridlock is endemic to our national politics, meaning like it is there because of the way the system works. Um, uh, Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia, look up top there, he said in 2011 that our political system is designed for gridlock. See, here's the deal. There's so many different groups fighting for power in our system from so many different parts of the country. The only way to get things done will, to be, to, will be to compromise. That's it. You have to compromise to get stuff done. And in our political age now where we really hate each other if we disagree and someone who disagrees with us is like the devil, like we're not going to get anything done. Like nothing's going to get passed. Um, Minnesota Post, which is a nonprofit, nonpartisan journalism um, outfit, they said how our political system is built for gridlock. Um, so like, that's the point. Like we're, we're going to stop the other side unless there's some sort of compromise in the less willing Congress is to compromise. then the less there's anything is going to get done. And so gridlock becomes the norm. Um, which means by the way, that if you want anything done, you probably need to look at your state because the state's probably the most likely place where something will get done that you want or move to another state where you like what they're doing. That's that's kind of the way it works because at the national level, not much happening. All right, cool. Thanks. That's it for that lesson.